So you've installed voice meter banana, you've started configuring things, and then you've realized what a nightmare it is just trying to identify what device is what. G'day, welcome to the channel and welcome to today's video. My name's Matt, but you will know me as WFX Malice. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you some hot tips on how to organize all these audio devices. Now, I've got a little bit of a confession to make when it comes to cable management, I do have a little bit of OCD. So when it comes to my virtual audio cables, everything has to be nice and neat. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to rename all these devices in Voice Meter Banana, Windows, and OBS. Let's get started. So we're gonna start in Voice Meter Banana, and this is a really simple one to do. We're just gonna rename each of the channels. We're gonna right click on the name at the top and give it a specific name for whatever that device is. Go ahead and do that for all of the other channels. Now, this won't affect any other application. This is literally housekeeping for voice meter banana. So at a quick glance, you can identify what each channel is. Once you've got voice meter set up the way you like it, go ahead and hit menu and save settings. That way, if for any reason you have to reinstall voice meter, all you'll have to do is go to menu, load settings, click on that file, and everything that you've populated within voice meter will go back exactly the way you had it. Now let's move into windows. Let's press the windows key and type sound. Click on sound settings. In here, we can go ahead and rename all of our devices. We're gonna start with the most basic one, which is voice meter input. This should be your desktop audio. Go ahead and click properties, and then we can give it a name here. I'm just gonna call mine desktop and click rename. Uh, you'll wanna go ahead and do that for your inputs as well. Uh, so for me, I use the cable and the auxiliary. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on cable output. That one is my guitars. So I'm gonna click device properties rename back and I'm going to select the auxiliary which I use for Spotify so device properties again and I'm going to call this one Spotify back again and I'm going to choose voice meter output which I use for my microphone device properties we're going to move over to OBS now and for simplicity I've popped out the audio mixer so that that way we don't get monitor inception but ultimately you wanna click on the little cog for each device, you wanna choose properties. We can see that that now has populated as desktop. Makes things nice and easy when you're trying to patch. And you can go ahead and name this device here by right clicking and choosing rename. And we can go and call that one desktop audio. And we can do the same for all of the other channels, guitars, Rode mic, Spotify, whatever your devices are, go ahead and rename those. That way, once again, at a quick glance, when you look down when you're streaming, you can automatically see if you've got the wrong channel muted or if your volumes are good. I hope this has helped you guys. I hope now that it's gonna make using voice meter banana so much easier. Now, as always, if you've got any questions about how to use this, go ahead and leave the comments down below. If you've liked this, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It does help me out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.